what this story is about is, you know, the inevitable loss that we have. If you love deeply, you lose dearly. And it's certainly been um, a really moving experience to work with Sarah on this because she's very willing to go those places and to say, you know, as Joan said, you know, I was crazy for a while. And she's really willing to explore those places and say, what does that feel like to be crazy with grief? What I really love about it um, is that within all of that, you know, like Maureen's talking about the experience of the loss and the grief and everything, it's, it's as though she's, she just tells that in such a pragmatic way. She tells it in terms of her own life. Mm -hmm. And she is very much aware that she's still alive. Right. She has never died. Right. You know, she is living through all of this and the things that she did to to do that. And it's also, I think, so, um, it's so funny sometimes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's disarming, mm -hmm. her uh, estimation of what she's been through. For all I know now, I imagine that. <laughs> For all I know now, it was a metaphor for how hard I had to work at that hospital to get my point across, to keep her alive, to do for her what I had failed to do for her father. He wanted, for example, to go to Paris. I told him we had too much to do. He said he had a sense that if we, he did not go to Paris right now, November, he would never again go to Paris. That settles it, we're going, I said. Meaning, this isn't a discussion anymore, it's blackmail, you just escalated it. <laughs> she read a poem she had written to her father. I love you more than even one more day, she said. 